Hello very users, Alex here, your Vray Guide, and tonight we're going to review our new sponsors, Render People. As you can see here, they were generous enough to provide us with five fully rendered 3D scanned people that can be inserted in your scenes in order to bring more a realistic look, a more live living look to your images. Okay, so you can see we got um, we got five of those models and this is fully scanned 3D person. I'm gonna click P, Z, and you can see here they pretty much have a good quality, um, not too heavy on the, let's see the mesh. So the mesh is not really heavy, but really good textures. So what's the benefit of uh, using those 3D scanned people is that we are getting really nice, cool uh, shadows, reflections. If you put them in the scene, they're gonna reflect in all the glasses, all the windows, all the mirrors, everything going to be reflected. And you can see they also have really nice, uh, real present shadows and uh, the way the light affects it works pretty, pretty well. And also, the quality is like photographic, so pretty much live person in the scene. Okay, so let's go check out how those guys actually build. This is the five people that you guys can uh, use in the upcoming interior workshop. You can also download free samples below this video or go to the Render People website and click on their free samples here and you can download two of those free samples um, to test them out yourself. So you can see here those people can be modified and their uh, textures can be modified, the color of the dress can change and the color of the suits and also the color of the skin and the hair. So let's go check out those features, how we can actually do this. So we'll open our editor slot and I'm going to select this lady here, Rosie. So we can see that uh, we got V-Ray blend material applied to the whole model. We got skin, hair, fabric, fabric and shoe. So we can check out all of those. And if we go to the folder and we check out the textures, we can see that we're getting diffuse map, which is real scanned person. We're getting a normal map for all the bumps and wrinkles and all the pores on the skin. And we get also masks. So those masks being used to isolate the scanned photo of that person. So basically those masks breaking down the entire model into sections and those sections can be changed. So if we go to Rosie here and we go to her fabric, we can see that this diffuse tiff applied and we can see that the fabric also got the map. So everything beyond that map will not get a change if we change the color of the fabric and everything within this mask will get affected by that change. So we're gonna go to fabric and uh, go into the diffuse, then click on bitmap and select color correction. We're going to use color correction, keep old map as a sub map, I'm gonna click yes. And a funny thing I noticed that if I'm going to the skin and I'm going to the hair, all of those are getting this effect because the map is instance. So in order to avoid changing the color to everything, we need to actually go back, control Z, cut and paste copy because all the maps apparently were instanced. Now within this copy, 
just because we kind of isolated from all the above we can go and actually apply color correction so if we apply color correction here click OK and we go and check the skin you can see that it stayed with no change so we only need to apply color correction to that to that uh, dress to that cloth okay so we're gonna scroll down and use the lighting parameters and the saturation parameters so if I'll click here and reduce the amount whoops I need to click actually here yeah like that you can see that the map is getting gray but in order to make it white I want to make a white dress I need to increase a little bit the RGB values so this is basically the output value all right so now we can see the, the dress got white even though the whole model is getting white we cannot see how maps interactively affect the model but trust me this change is going only to the dress okay and um, we can also increase a little gamma if if the map is if the fabric is too contrasting getting a lot of dark areas well we'll leave it for this purpose we'll leave it as it is and uh, do a quick render test and see how this goes so I'm going to click off the displacement in order to go faster and uh, I'm gonna click to show my frame buffer and click on the region and let's do this quick render to the dress and see how this stuff works voila the woman got white dress which is very uh, convenient the control because we can uh, even change the color of the skin uh, this little girl was a little pale on the face maybe because it was too close to the white objects and maybe a little bit too much sun was affecting her so I went to her face and actually decreased the amount of GALF or GB output to make her skin a little bit darker and not that pale okay so now basically we can see that the woman got this really nice white dress now let's go and try to change her color of the skin i'm gonna click escape to cancel the render and uh, why don't we go and have a little bit more fun with it make her skin darker so same stuff goes here if we go to the skin we need to uh, clear this just because we saved the map in the RAM, we can paste copy, not instance. And now we can go actually and use color correction tool for her skin. So let's try to make her skin a little darker. Um, as you see here, I'm using advanced option and not standard option because standard option screws up a little bit the maps. So I like to use the advanced option to get much cleaner results it's basically pretty much the same it's just the standard option I don't know does something to the maps some pixels might pop up some weird color might pop up okay so I'm going to put here let's go 50 half make her really dark skin this is her skin color here and uh, let's lower the gamma a little bit also 0.5 85 and uh, let's click render so we can see that after changing we also got to change the color of her hair otherwise it will not fit so I'm gonna give the same parameters I'm gonna cancel the render and go to the skin here go up and go to the hair same stuff here I need to paste the map inside click on bitmap apply color correction in order to have a good match between the color of the face 
and the hair I have to give the same parameters I'm gonna put 50 and 0.85 and uh, let's click another render see how this goes so we can see that the color of a skin and the color of a hair matching perfectly and we got really nice good looking woman or should I call it a rosy because she got a, ro a red dress maybe that's that's the name all right so uh, everything looking good the quality looking good pretty photorealistic if we check out other models here they have really good presentation nice reflections nice cloth you can see that it's acting actually like a real one and really cool detail I, even though I'm zooming in 200% so we get a little bit a little bit um, unsharp results here but with 100% this stuff looks pretty cool pretty stunning I like those render people much better than uh, than whatever there is on the network today and uh, getting photorealistic results with people inside your interiors then try to match uh, in post-production some some stuff which can be a little bit more fun I'm guessing if you you know if you paint people in but it will be much harder to get good reflections if you don't have the opposite mirrored images or PNGs to put in post-production you won't be able to get good interpretation of those people here what I really like is the connection point they really sit they create this nice ambient inclusion the connection points to the ground so that looks very realistic and you can also add some motion blur and some other effects if you want to have people in motion and not really uh, as sharp as it is so we are going to create lifetime scenarios in the upcoming workshop I'm going to provide you with this interior scene and your task is to take it to the next level by adding uh, 3d people or adding other object elements like cloth would add much more photorealism to your 3d renders okay so uh, stay tuned to upcoming tutorials go check out the render people website it's renderpeople.com check out their free stuff you can also download the free stuff below this video uh, take advantage of their 40% off discounts for the other packages here you can see they have a lot of with different driving people sitting standing even swim pool so the stuff looks good all right there's a lot of a lot of that a lot of those models right there okay so make sure to open upcoming emails we're gonna do some materials designer we're gonna do some more uh, lighting textures tutorials so I'll see you in the next video this is Alex your very guy ciao